In this video, we're going to show you how to renovate your baseball field to get it back into shape after the long hiatus of the coronavirus. As you can see, this field has been used because of the uh, coronavirus pandemic. And we have a lot of grass, a lot of weeds, tall, tall turf, some dandelions. So we're gonna give this field a complete renovation. All right, a few days ago, we uh, applied some weed and feed to this uh, varsity high school baseball field get it cut to about two inches all the way around and then we'll start uh, spraying for weeds and then we'll start getting our infield back in shape here we have our mower which all the blades have been sharp our spindles are greased we're full of fuel as you can see I started cutting about two and a half inches on my mower here so I'm gonna have to raise the deck up because this grass is way too long but I'm close I want to keep it close and tight where I'm going to be doing my edging and spraying. So on this infield, I'm going to keep it short where it gets close to the infield surface. As you can see, we got a lot of clippings, so we'll have to come back and cut this again once these clippings dry out. You can see that our field's been cut last week. We're going to spray these all these areas where all this grass is growing because these fields haven't been maintained in months. They haven't been dragged or used or anything. So we're gonna use uh, some Roundup and spray these, all these uh, skinned areas. You can see we got grass on the infield, grass on these circles. On these smaller areas, I'm using a backpack sprayer with just some Roundup. up here little three and a half gallon sprayer and we'll just spray these by hand try not to walk in our roundup spread it around all right we're sitting on our John Deere Gator we got it running we got our tank full of roundup we got our hand sprayer here we're just gonna go around the warning tracks real slow and we're going to start from the fence and work our way out into the field. Driving our uh, John Deere Gator here. Real simple machine. Real easy to spray. I can sit and do this all day long. And we have a nice day. It's not windy. And it's warm. So we know that the roundup is going to get on there dry and then it'll start working. So we're going to slowly just go around our whole field probably about five or six times so we get a good coverage. We want a good kill. could use the boom sprayer, but the wind's picking up a little bit, and I'd rather not, not get it close to the grass. I'm just spraying all these weeds. Today we're going to start putting an edge on our infield here in our varsity baseball field. We got the field cut down to a, a decent height, although it will need to be cut some more. We're going to reset our home plate because it's a little low and we're gonna tune up our mound, put a new mound uh, rubber, pitching rubber in there, and uh, kind of clean that up. But first we're gonna blow it all off. All right, here we are. About 
about a week after we've uh, sprayed our non-selective herbicide Roundup glyphosate here on our warning track. In our spots we have uh, just is starting to die, but we're going to give it a few more days. During our renovation, we're going to replace the uh, the old pitcher's rubber. We've already got this one out. We're going to put a new one in. We've got our string run from our home plate and our tape measure. So we're going to reset this real fast before we etch this mill. Setting our new pitcher's mound real fast. Double square and it's 60 foot 6 inches. In the ground with the frost, we're going to raise it up about an inch to compensate for all the new uh, infield mix we're going to be putting down at home plate. We are edging our keyhole on our pitching mound. Just using shovels, putting in the back of our Kubota. Going around the outside of our pitcher's mound, getting all the weeds out, put a nice clean edge. in so it's nice and straight there we go now we have our line long first base and we'll give it a cut have our first edged line on our first baseline on the infield. All right, doing along from first to second. Baseline, we're going to edge. We have our uh, infield edging complete. We're going to touch up the uh, herbicide on this infield before we float it out and then start adding new material. So, we're just going to touch up some of this new growth and maybe some stuff that I had missed on the first round. All right, we got our green groomer with all new brushes and springtime. We're going to float this field out and uh, 
spread some old meal into these where we reduce the lips and then we will start to uh, put some new meal We're doing small circles to try to level the surface Loaded all our old meal, we've raked in all our edges. Now we're going to start putting the new infield mix. Just doing our last rake in here. And we're hooked up and ready to go. circles. We're going to touch this up with some more. 